What's up guys, it's Asiatic for Il Philly TV and it's another comic book pull list. This is my pickups for January 16, 2019. I also have some back issues and I'm so excited to show them to you guys. So let's begin. So first off, I just saw Miles Morales like a week ago with my girlfriend and one as well when it first came out with my daughter and I saw this on the shop it's a second printing of the Miles Morales one I already have the first um, print but this is such a cool cover and I have to pick it up and same time looking back on the dollar bins or the pound bin I had I saw this Spider-Man 2 three four it reminds me of those hip-hop variants back in the days i think that might as well one of them i'm not sure guys if you guys know let me know in the comment section so those are like back issues miles morales and spider-man two three four another back issue here guys this is the new mutants 91 issue number 91 this is with first appearance of hump and brute their brothers the morlocks and um yeah i've been collecting um i've been collecting new mutants quite a while and that's a good addition and another one that i saw for quite cheap which is amazing spider-man 397 first appearance of stunner which is the Little stunner in the cover and it's a 48 uh, 48 page flip book um, yeah for four pounds not too bad not too bad <clears throat> next up um, this one came last week I already had mine and then my um, comic shop told me like look there's another one that's going for you know quite cheap would you like it and I said why not this is um, Adam Hughes um, cover and you guys know that I like this cover it's a 1 in 50 Adam Hughes variant and yeah I'm so happy to have that one another my collection also talking about Jay Lee one Jay Lee's art with the Punisher which is so shit but I thought this one is funny because it's Hulk you know it's Marvel Knights number five and talking about back issues i also picked up harley quinn 54 the cho variant because you know i'm so upset i didn't get the 57 which is hot right now the harley quinn 57 variant it didn't even hit the shelves in my comic shop it's all like you know subscription filled up the subscription uh, subscription list and yeah i never managed to get one it's a hot book guys next up this savage shores that's by bold comics it's been an amazing read this one um and this says is issue number one when i picked it up i thought this is the third issue because i think i already have the first one and the second one but i'm not sure maybe this is a third printing or something because it's been a popular book yeah this savage chores volume uh, issue number one sorry moving on we have iron heart iron heart riri williams one of my idols you know um new iron man iron heart number two the first one was great so as this one and yes i can't uh, wait to continue it you know mass morales has been a hit Iron Heart was a bit on and off, but this one is picking up a good story. Next up, another standalone series uh, used to be Avengers Black Widow number one, um, written by sisters. I'm not sure what their name is, but um, yeah, it's number one, and yeah, it's quite cool. I'm waiting to read that one, looking forward to. But this one, guys, is a good read. Jason Aaron, I just read, I just read um, part one a few days ago, and I thought, wow, that's amazing. Because you know, growing up with um, Conan the Barbarian, watching the series and everything, I'm just amazed. And it's such a good story, guys. If you haven't been checking this out, check it out. I have the one in twenty-five variant, and I I have the SR Dribic 
variant which is just a normal cover but I think his work is fantastic also have few of his uh, variant covers on the X-Men and um, next up Jason Todd Red Hood Outlaw number 30 this is the variant I'm not sure if this is Yasmin Putri's one I think she's not doing um, any more of um, I think she moved in she moved on to do different covers and different titles but yeah this is the variant cover of Red, Lo Red Hood Outlaw 30 and I don't know who this is one I'm not sure guys but this one is Hawkman number 8 and I don't read that one but I like the cover and it's a Bill Sinkovich variant and I'm a big fan of him and yes I thought that's a great cover and apparently this is a good um, comic I don't I just haven't been into it really next up Venom Marvel Tales these are like you know from back in the days like a few different stories about Venom like story arcs been put together I think they're doing this one for like their um, 30th uh, 80th anniversary same as this one the Marvel Comics present you got three storylines there of uh, Wolverine Captain America and um, Namor you think is that Namor yeah and yeah they're doing those stories for the anniversary they're pulling out stuff from the vault man yes unlock that vault next up flash 62 this is getting exciting i don't know why i told my sorry guys i told my comic book shop i, got, I want the granov variant and then they didn't give me the granov variant they gave me this anyway same as this i told them to give me the variant you know guys i'm a variant collector by the way if you guys don't know check my ebay out my name is variant collector and yeah i collect variant comics next up black panther number eight i don't read this one i read shuri i'm her sister but i, I haven't read black panther comics yet i just it intrigues me about this symbiote suit that he's on i'm not sure what's this all about it could be something different it could be a key check it out guys that's black panther number eight next up return of wolverine number four this is i'm not really happy with the storyline but i got ocd i need to check the whole story arc and i can decide but i'm i can tell already i'm not happy with the storyline this one i think the long night is much better the um adaptation from um what do you call this one i forgot the, the adaptation the first one that came out last week from a podcast that's the one i'm talking about yeah next up man first one was sick so i have to continue the, buying this one look at the artwork i think that's a capullo uh, variant still but inside the artwork inside is joke if you guys you know joke signed my um the first one that i had here but look Jock man, he does, he knows how to do Batman, you get me? And yeah, it's just amazing, amazing artwork. And I have four of the variant covers, and that's Batman Who Laughs number two. Guys, I'm trying to be quick this time. I'm trying to not to babble on, because that's me. I tend to babble on a lot with my um, comic pull list, and um, yeah, I try to shorten them, but it's working to no avail. Next up is from the movie adaptation Avatar and this I think is, is his story I'm not sure but this is interesting and then they reckon that the second Avatar movie it's on the works so this one is a good one to grab guys check it out good one good one to grab talking about movies Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle if you guys like the series or the cartoons back in the days you know this is a new one from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles which is Shredder in hell in in hell, in hell. Shredder in hell in hell yeah that's the first issue you have the normal cover and you have a 1 in 25 I believe Correct me if I'm wrong with that one, but yeah, that's also a good one. Next up, trying to be quick, guys, trying to be quick. Next up, Uncanny X-Men number 10. 
pop, 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 pop. This is leading up to the finishing and then it's gonna be the Age of X man which is coming soon I think in two months time I'm not sure I uh, need to check double check on that one but this is already issue number 10 you have the normal cover and I also picked up the variant cover because you know I love me a Wolverine and he's just standing there like so sick next up Detective Comics 996 Tomasi is sick if you guys seen or read uh, 995 that's a shocking shocking story guys I also have the variant covers I picked up two variant covers and the first go look at those how clean those corners are you know and I thought I can I can slap those ones and get a 10 man but yeah anyway that's a different story next up new title came out we have Invaders number one, you got Captain America, Bucky, Human Torch, and they are fighting one of their own, which is Neymar. I also have the Alex Ross variant, but it didn't come today, so I can only show you this one. This is the normal cover, and you have a 1 in 25 Suyan cover, if that's his name but that's a sick cover too next up warning warning number three image the first one and two i'm not happy with it and i'm i think i'm gonna stop reading this one now i'm not happy depends on this third issue if there's a new one but you know the artwork is just so good guys sorry the artwork is so good it's amazing colors you know it's just the story is a bit yeah. Anyway, number three. I might stop that one. Next up, Middle West. This one is getting sick. Artwork, Scotty Young. You know, amazing. He's doing some, you know, he's coming to his own now, like being a writer and shit. You know, and yeah, it's good. I like Bully Wars as well, you know, and um, what's the one that he's doing as well? Um, Deadpool. Deadpool is good as well. It's funny, you know, crazy stuff. And yeah, Middle West is getting good. My girlfriend likes that too. And yeah, I liked it too. And I keep buying it. I wish they have more different covers. But anyway, saves me more money if they just do one cover. Next up, Man Without Fear. This one is a weekly series. Only in the, um, until 5. It's a mini series 5. And then after that one, they'll bring back Daredevil with um, Chip, Chip Sidarsky. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm a big fan of Daredevil, guys. Daredevil, Wolverine, that's my thing. You know? Okay, this is Escalera variant. And yeah, I think. Because normally Jenny Frison does the variants for Wonder Woman. But I don't know, maybe she's doing something else now. But I have three covers and I thought that's amazing, amazing covers. Wonder Woman 62 okay we're in the 13 minute mark wow i'm doing it half that i normally do well i'm not finished yet but this one is appalachian apocalypse appalachian apocalypse this is from cave comics i believe yeah cave pictures publishing there you go it's an indie title and it's quite good i read it already and yeah it's a good little book i read it on the way home and next up, Catwoman number seven. I don't read this one, but it's just Catwoman, you know. Catwoman does amazing covers. And Ben Oliver, I'm a big fan of Ben Oliver, guys. And yeah, this one is Catwoman number seven. The, the cover A as well is also good, but I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up. Next up, we have one, two, three, four five six of the white widow white widow it's also just like the other one the apocalypse appalachian apocalypse this is a uh, indie which is from absolute comic group and then they've been picked up by some publishing and then now you know they're out and it's good for them i like you know supporting in this stuff and um, i got six of them i also have the 
red cover which is one two three and the fall one is just amazing guys the artwork is sick sexy and i've subscribed to that one and hopefully i'm not gonna miss out because this is very scarce guys and it's only a few in my comic shop i missed out on nights on the golden sun even though i have it in subscription i don't know what happened that i'm really upset because you know I, I, the variants that i normally get I, I didn't get them and then i don't know what happened and um, I missed out on that one, Knights of the Golden Sun, because it's another indie that's supposed to be on my box, but it wasn't. But luckily, this was in my box, and I'm happy. And this is my cover of the week, guys. I thought Ben Oliver one is gonna be the cover of the week, but you know, it's been beaten by White Widow. And yeah, so happy with that one. Next up, few more books. Amazing. Spider-Man number 13 this is getting really good the story and this one is amazing and I also have the Phil Noto variants because if you guys don't know Phil Noto is doing the variants for the 80th anniversary of Marvel if you can see in the back you have like three out of nine he's doing like I think out of online and it's hard they also having nicks some that and stuff similar to the venom number 10 i have venom number 10 some of them are got like nicks and this one is quite good actually number 10 of the venom one i don't even have the normal cover i should do but look at that one that's crazy but yeah guys there you go phil noto if you guys his artwork check it out He's doing some good stuff. I also picked up the one last week, which is, um, I can't remember, Avengers, Avengers number 12. And it's really a good one and that's sold out everywhere. But anyway, guys, that's my pick. That's my pickup for this week. And yes, it's a bit shorter today. So see you next week, guys. I hope you like and subscribe on my channel. I try to improve every single week and yes, see you soon. This is Asiatic signing out. Peace.